What's up everyone? I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. So today I'm going to be going over all the new comics this week for April 28th, 2021's new comic book day. I'm going to be going over all the new releases, variant covers, first appearances, and any sort of important info to help you guys decide which issues you're going to be picking up this week, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, I am your host AR Comics and today I'm going to be going over all the new comics for New Comic Book Day, April 28th, 2021. But before I get started on that, if you are new to the channel, I drop weekly comic book content that will keep you up to date on all of the latest releases. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down low and the little bell to get notified. Every time I drop new content, you won't regret it. And now, without further ado, let's get started on this week's new books. So I hope you guys had an awesome new comic book day last week and you were able to get all the issues you wanted to read. It was a weird week for me. I only had about five or six issues on my pull list, but I found a few others to fill out a top 10 list, which if you haven't seen already, I'm going to be linking it down low in the description. But overall, it was a really solid week, so I'm hoping this week is just as good. But as far as this upcoming week goes, we have a ton of issues to go over. So kicking it off this week with AWA Upshot, they've got one issue coming out and it's Erratic, issue number five. And for those of you reading this, this is the end of the series. I'm really looking forward to this one. I thought the first four issues were very good, but if you haven't already started it, I would wait for a trade paperback because they're definitely coming out with one of those. But this one only has a cover A, and that's the only issue they're coming out with. So moving on to Aftershock, they've got three different issues coming out. The first one is Nuclear Family, issue number three, and this one only has a cover A. I haven't read the first issue yet. A lot of people have been telling me this series is so good. I just can't find it. But moving on after that, we've got I Breathe the Body, issue number four. Same thing. This one only has a cover A. And this one I did read the first issue on. I really like the artwork. I think the story is pretty unique, but I wasn't able to find issue number two. So if you are still reading this, let me know what you think about it down low. But the third issue that Aftershock is coming out with this week is Shadow Doctor, issue number three, and same thing. This one only has a cover A. But those are the only three issues coming out from Aftershock. So moving on to Antarctic Press, they've got quite a few issues coming out. The first one is Horror Comics, issue number five, and this is cover A, the main cover. And followed up with that, we've got Death by Life, issue number three, and same thing. This one only has a cover A. The third issue they're coming out with this week is Gold Digger, issue number 285, and this is cover A, the main cover. And followed up by that, we've got a brand new series coming out from them. It's OBE, stands for Out of Body Experience, and this one only has a cover A. It sounded pretty cool. I probably won't be able to find it, though. I don't think I've ever seen an Antarctic Press issue at my comic shop. But moving on after that, we've got Exciting Comics issue number 11, and this is cover A, the main cover. Followed up with that, we've got another brand new series coming out from them. It's Valkyrie Saviors. This is cover A, the main cover. We also have a Cal New variant. The next issue I'm going to be talking about is Ninja High School, issue number 179, and this is cover A, the main cover. And this one's kind of weird. If you guys are reading this series, let me know, because it also listed that Ninja High School issue 180 is also coming out. So I feel like that's probably a mistake on their end, but maybe they are releasing two issues at once, but this one also only has a cover A. But those are all the issues coming out from Antarctic Press. So moving on to Source Point Press, to start it off, we've got Cult of Dracula, issue number two. This is cover A, the main cover. We also have a cover B, Mare variant. Now we have an Alex Ragel variant. Followed up by that, we have a Jay Ferguson variant A and B set. And now for this next one, we have a Maria K variant A and B, but there is also a variant C. It's just a metal variant. It looks pretty cool. I would check it out. But moving on from there, we've got Dead End Kids, The Suburban Job, issue number four, and this is the end of the series. And Frank Gogol's done such a great job on this one so far. I can't wait to see how he wraps it up. But this is cover A, the main cover. Now this one's not available yet, but it does have a cover B variant. The next issue coming out from Source Point Press is Eighth Immortal, issue number four, and this is cover A, the main cover. Followed up by that, we've got Damned Curse children issue number four if you guys are reading this one let me know what you think about it because these covers are so cool and i'm looking into getting the back issues for these i haven't had a chance to get them in store though but this is cover a the main cover and followed up with that we've got a brand new series coming out from them it's called 20 fists and this one only has a cover a the next issue i'm going to be going over is war corns combat unicorns for hire issue number four and same thing this one only has a cover a the final issue coming out from Source Point Press this week is The Era of Great Wonders, issue number five, and this is cover A, the main cover. But those are all the issues coming out from them. So moving on to Scout Comics, they've got four different issues coming out. The first one is Frank at Home on the Farm, issue number four, and this is the series finale, and this one also only has a cover A. But moving on from there, we've got a brand new series. It's called Snatched, and this is cover A, the main cover. The third issue coming out from Scout Comics this week is Steak, issue number two. This is cover A, the main cover. Followed up by that, we've got a 
uh, cover B, Aaron Bartling variant, and finally we have a Jay Ferguson variant. The final issue coming out from Scout Comics this week is also another brand new series. It's called Galactic Rodents of Mayhem, and this one only has a cover A. So Scout Comics got some cool different issues coming out. If you guys are reading Frank at Home on the Farm, let me know what you think about that one too. I have them all in my cart on the Scout Comics website, so I'm just waiting to hear some feedback on that one. But moving on to Vault, they've got two different issues coming out. The first one is Witch Blood, issue number two, and this is cover A, the main cover. We also have a cover B, Sterl variant, and now finally a cover C, Yoshitani variant. But the final issue coming out from Vault this week is Shadow Service, issue number 7, this is cover A, the main cover, and followed up by that we've got a cover B, Isaac's variant. But those are the only two issues coming out from Vault. So moving on to Titan Books, we've got Star Wars Insider, issue number 202. This is cover A, the main cover. Now we also do have a FOC cover variant. That's the only issue Titan's coming out with, so they're having a super small week this week. Moving on to Ablaze, we've got one issue. It's Mirka and Dolfo's Unsacred, issue number 6. And this one has two different stories on the inside, and this one has a ton of different covers. So this is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B and Dolfo bra face variant. The one I'm going to be showing is the Virgin variant because the artwork for the regular one isn't available yet. But moving on from there, we've got a cover C, Tim Seeley variant. A cover D, Bigarella variant. And now we also have some incentive variants as well. The first one is a 1 in 10 and Dolfo Virgin variant. We have a 1 in 20 bra face Virgin variant. This is the one that I was just showing before. And now finally, a 1 in 30 and Dolfo negative incentive variant. So there's some pretty cool covers. I've heard some good things about that series, but I was never able to find some of the earlier issues. But moving on from there, we've got Absolute Comics Group, and they've got two different issues coming out. The first one is White Widow, issue number six, and this is cover A, the main cover. Now we also have a cover B, Tim Vigil, hollow metallic variant. And now finally, a cover C, Genzaman Wraparound Lenticular Variant cover. That is a mouthful. But the final issue that they're coming out with this week is First Defense, issue number three. This is cover A, the main cover. Now this one also does have a cover B, Genzaman Lenticular Variant as well. But moving on to Xenoscope Comics, they've got three different issues coming out. The first one is a brand new series. It's called Bell, King of Serpents, issue number one. And this is cover A, the main cover. Now we also have a cover B, Talabao Variant. And finally, a cover C, Nakamura. Nakayama variant. Nakayama is killing it on some of these variants that I've been checking out lately. And not just him, but Cal New. I swear, these Cal New variants are just incredible. I love that artwork. But moving on to the second issue that Xenoscope is coming out with, they've got Grim Fairy Tales Presents Quarterly Issue Number Two. This is cover A, the main cover. Now we have a cover B, Netho Diaz variant. And now finally, a cover C, Dipsascal variant. But the final issue that Xenoscope is coming out with is Neverland Annual, issue number one, and this is cover A, the main cover. Now we also have a cover B, Edgar Salazar variant. And now for this last one, I'm 100% going to butcher this name, but it's a cover C, Sun Kamunaki variant. I think I may have said that right. But those are the only three issues they're coming out with. So moving on to Heavy Metal, they also have some really cool stuff coming out. I never see their stuff in stores though, but every time I go over these covers and I read the descriptions, I'm like, man, they've got some really cool issues. But we've got Cold Dead War, issue number two. This is cover A, the main cover. Now they also do have a brand new series coming out. The Modern Frankenstein, issue number one. This is cover A, the main cover. Now this one also does have a one in 10 incentive variant, but the artwork's not available yet for it. And next up from Ahoy Comics, they've got one issue coming out. It's Happy Hour, issue number six. And for those of you reading this, this is the end of the series, and this one only has a cover A. That's the only issue they're coming out with. So moving on to Archie Comics, same thing. They only have one issue. It's Archie Jumbo Comics Digest, issue 319, and this is a brand new story, and this one also only has a cover A. Now moving on to Black Mass Studios, they have Destiny in New York, issue number two coming out, and this is cover A, the main cover. But that's the only one they're coming out with, so moving on to American Mythology Productions, they've got a few different issues coming out. The first one is Zorro in the Land That Time Forgot, issue number four. Now I'm mentioning this one, but the cover A or B isn't available yet, so if you are interested in this issue, just be on the lookout for it throughout the week. But moving on from there, we've got Bedtime Stories for Impressionable Children, annual issue number one. This is cover A, the main cover. Now we also have a cover B, Spencer Variant. The third issue that they're going to be coming out with this week is Hatchet Vengeance, issue number three. This is cover A, the main cover. We also have a Slaughter Calzadova cover, and now finally a Bloody Horror limited variant cover as well. Those are some pretty sweet covers in my opinion. But moving on to the next series that they're coming out with is also a brand new one. The Robonic Stooges Return, issue number one. And this is cover A, the main cover, and I love this cover. I think this one is so cool. Now we also have a cover B, Pacheco variant. We've got a black and white limited variant that's limited 
limited to 350 copies. Now we also have a Century Edition animation variant that's also limited, and this one's limited to 100 copies. But the final issue that they're coming out with this week is starring Sonya Devereaux, Death Teams 5, issue number one. So this is a brand new series, and this is cover A, the main cover. And now finally, we have a cover B parody variant. Moving on to Action Lab Comics this week, they've got four different issues coming out. The first one is Zombie Tramp, issue number 79. This is cover A, the main cover. And as always, they've got a cover B and C variant, and those two variants also have exclusives to those, but they've got nudity in it. So just check it out if you want to see what it looks like online. But moving on from there, we've got Vamp Blade, season four, issue number 50. And this is cover A, the main cover. And same thing, this one has a bunch of mature rated covers, so like I just said, just check it out online if you're interested. Moving on, we've got Carmine, issue number 5, and this is cover A, the main cover. Now we also do have a cover B variant. The final issue that Action Labs is coming out with this week is Miranda in the Maelstrom, issue number 5, and this one only has a cover A. Now moving on from there, we've got Fantagraphic Books, and they've got two different issues coming out. The first one is Love and Rockets Magazine, issue number 10, and this is cover A, the main cover. And the final one that they're coming out with is a free comic book day one, so it's it's 2021 Red Room issue number one, so it's going to be a new series for them. I would check it out, especially if it's free, and this one only has a cover A. But moving on after that, we've got Keen Spot, Ninjas and Robots issue number six. This is cover A, the main cover. We also have a cover B, Irving Bartolome variant, and now finally, we have a one in five Incentive Varlint variant. The final issue that Keen Spot's coming out with this week is Grubs issue number two, and this is cover A, the main cover. Now, this one's not available yet, but it does have a one in three Incentive variant. But now, moving on to Valiant, they've got one issue coming out. It's Shadow Man, issue number one, and this is a brand new horror series. I love horror books, and I'm so happy that horror is getting some love lately. But this one has 10 different covers, so if you're interested, I'm just going to be showing the ones that I really like, so check it out online for the other ones. This is cover A, the main cover. We have a cover B, Rice variant, and now we also have a David Mack variant as well. I think those covers are just so cool. Now, that's the only issue they're coming out with, though, so moving on the Broadsword comics, we've got one issue. It's Terret, Witch of the Black Rose, issue number 127. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B variant. Now, we also have a cosplay photo variant, a deluxe litho variant, and now finally, a 1 in 10 incentive variant. Now, next publisher I'm going to be talking about is Avatar Press, and they've got one issue coming out, but it is a brand new series. It's Nightmares of the Providence, issue number one. This one has eight different covers. This is cover A, the main cover. Natosa wraparound variant, and now we also have another wraparound variant as well. But now the next publisher I'm going to be going over is Storm King Comics, and they have one issue coming out, and it's another brand new one. We've got John Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction Hell, issue number one, and this one only has a cover A. But the next publisher I'm going to be going over is Black Box Comics, and they have Devil's Dominion, issue number four, coming out, and this one also only has a cover A. I've heard a lot of good things about Devil's Dominion, if you are reading this one, let me know what you think about it down low. But moving on from there, we've got Aardvark Vanheim, and they've got Cerebus the Duck, issue number one. I think I said that word wrong, too. But this one only has a cover A. And then moving on from there, we've got Coffin Comics, and they've got Lady Death Swimsuit. This is a one-shot, and this one also only has a cover A. So a lot of small weeks for some of these publishers, but next up, we've got Chapter House Comics, and they've got Lev Gleason Presents, number one. This is cover A, the main cover. But moving on, we've got Cutaway Comics, and they also have a brand new series coming out. It is a mini-series, though, but it's a Omega issue number one, and this is cover A, the main cover. We've also got a cover B, Ridgeway variant, a cover C, Stephen B. Scott variant, and now we do have some other issues coming out from publishers, but they didn't say what the publishers were. It was just listed under other. So we've got Minerva's Map, The Key to the Apocalypse, issue number three, and this one only has a cover A. And the final one is Mysterious Microface, a brand new series. And same thing, this one only has a cover A. Now, like I said, some of these publishers are having huge weeks. There's so many different books coming out from some of these smaller ones. But out of all the ones I just talked about, the only one that I really plan on getting this week is going to be the one from AWA Upshot, Erratic, issue number five. It's the final issue, and I can't wait to see how they wrap this up. But moving on, let's talk about Image Comics and Boom Studios. All right, now to get started on Image this week, they are having a massive week of big name titles coming out. The first one is Crossover, issue number six, and in the description it says, do not miss the shocking conclusion to the blockbuster final chapter. I'm definitely not going to miss it, but will it be shocking? At this point, I highly doubt it. But it's got 22 different covers, including the main cover, so if you're interested in these, check them out online. I'm just going to be going over some of my favorite ones. But this is cover A, the main cover. Now we have a Miko Suyan Dark Phoenix Comics exclusive that's limited to 500 copies. 
Now we also have a John Zhang variant. Now this next issue I'm going to be talking about is probably going to be the best one of the week in my opinion. It's definitely the one I'm looking forward to most. But we've got the Department of Truth, issue number 8, and this is a brand new arc. So while it is a new arc, I don't think it's probably the best jumping on point, but I still would suggest checking it out because there is a trade paperback for I think the first 5 issues. 6 and 7 I don't think are in there, but you should still be able to find those issues. But this one has a ton of different covers, so this is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, sign kind of what's variant. Cover C, Young variant. A Deladera exclusive variant that's limited to 750. A Jay Lee Evil Dead homage variant, and I love this one. A Royal Collectibles Simmons limited variant that's to 500. And we've got a Salinas exclusive variant that's limited to 550. And now we also have a TFAW exclusive David Mack variant. Those are some really awesome covers. Like I was saying, it's probably going to be the best issue of the week in my opinion. Definitely check that out. But moving on from there, we've got Spawn 317. And in the description, it says it's got new threats. So it is a possible first appearance. I'm not reading the series, but if you are, just be on the lookout for that. This is cover A, the main cover. Cover B, the McFarlane variant, and now we also have a cover C, Matina variant. But moving on, we've got Outcast issue number 8, and this is the series finale. I've got the first hardcover for it, I haven't had an opportunity to read it yet, but I've heard some pretty good stuff about this series. But this one only has a cover A. Now moving on from there, this is going to be another big issue for some readers. We've got Deadly Class issue number 45, and this is a brand new arc. Sadly, this is another one I'm not reading right now. But this is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Level and Denisio variant. And now finally, a cover C, Gia variant. But moving on to the next issue, we've got Shadecraft issue number two. And I'm really looking forward to this one. The artwork in that first issue was just incredible. But we've got cover A, this is the main cover. And we also have a cover B, Latoy variant. Moving on, we've got Two Moons issue number three. I'm not too sure about this series yet. I read the first two, I might grab this one. But we've got cover A, the main cover. And now we also have a cover B, Latina and Biancholi variant. Moving on, we've got Bitter Root, issue number 12, and this one only has a cover A. I read the first issue, maybe the first two issues. I actually really liked it, but I wasn't able to find the other ones. So for me, this is probably just going to be a trade paperback or wait it out for a hardcover type of read. But next up, we've got a brand new series coming out from Image. It's Helm Grey Castle, issue number one. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Lapham variant. Cover C, Parker variant. Cover D, Clunan variant. And now finally, we've got a TFAW exclusive Mauricio El Grimlock Herrera variant. Now the final issue that's coming out from Image this week is Summoner's War Legacy number one. So this is another brand new series from them. And this one only has a cover A. Now those are all the issues coming out from Image this week. Like I said, it's going to be a massive week of big name titles for them. I'm really looking forward to a lot of those issues. But the ones I'm going to be getting is Crossover issue number six, The Department of Truth issue number eight, Shadecraft issue number two and finally I might be getting two moons issue number three It seems like overall it's going to be a very big week for me So we'll see how that goes, but next up moving on the boom studios They've got a couple really big name titles coming out too man The indies are killing it this week as always. I love my independent companies. They're all doing so well but we've got Berserker, issue number two. This one has a ton of covers, as always. I'm going to go through some of them because a lot of them are just the incentive variants. But we've got cover A, this is the main. Cover B, Albuquerque variant. Cover C, Grapapa variant. We've got a cover D, Albuquerque foil variant. So this is going to be the same thing as cover B that I just shown, except this is going to be a foil version of it. We've got a cover E, 1 in 25, Leon incentive variant. Cover F, 1 in 50 incentive variant. Cover G, 1 in 100 incentive variant. I don't know how these people are getting into these ones, but we've got a cover H, 1 in 150, and we also have a cover I, 1 in 250. That's crazy to me. But moving on, we've got Once in Future, issue number 18. This is cover A, the main cover. We also have a 1 in 10, more a black and white incentive variant. And finally, a 1 in 25, Kalida incentive variant. I gave up on the series. I think I sold it at issue number 16. I may have actually had issue 17 in there as well, but I don't know. Just wasn't doing it for me. I love the artwork though. I'll say that much. I might get it when they come out with a hardcover for it and just read it all at once and go from there. But I don't know. It's like a monthly, every other month issue. Just not doing it for me. But moving on, we've got Firefly issue number 28. This is cover A, the main cover. We also have a cover B, Ruben variant. A 1 in 10, Bengal incentive variant. A 1 in 25, Mare incentive variant. Now we've got a 1 in 50 Mare Incentive variant as well, and now finally a 1 per store. Now moving on to the next issue from Boom Studios is Dune House of Atreides, issue number 6, and this is cover A, the main cover. 
We've got a cover B, Frizen variant. Now we've got a 1 in 25, Kaggle incentive variant. And next up, a 1 in 50, Frizen incentive variant. The final issue coming out from Boom Studios this week is Abbott 1973. This is issue number four. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Allen variant. A 1 in 25 Bartel incentive variant, and now we do have a cover D variant as well. But those are the only issues coming out from Boom Studios this week. I'm only going to be getting the one issue, but as far as issues go, it is a pretty big week for Boom. But I'm definitely going to be getting Berserker issue number two. So next up, let's talk about Dark Horse, IDW, and Dynamite. So first up today from Dark Horse, we've got Cyberpunk 2077, You Have My Word, issue number one. So this is a brand new mini series coming out from them. This is cover A, the main cover. Now we also do have a cover B, the Lulus variant. Moving on after that, we've got Critical Role, Box Machina, Origins, issue number two. And this one only has a cover A. Now finally, we've got Dragon Age, Dark Fortress, issue number two. And same thing, this one only has a cover A. Very small week for Dark Horse. Those are the only three issues they're coming out with. So moving on to IDW, the first one they have is CSR issue number five and this is the end of the series i'm really looking forward to seeing how this one ends i feel like they're not going to be able to end it properly i don't know it was moving very slow and it picked up a little bit and i just feel like we don't really know exactly what's going on for them to just end it on issue five but this is cover a the main cover we also have a one in ten incentive variant and now finally a one in 25 incentive variant i'm still going to be picking it up though but moving on from there, we've got G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, issue number 280. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Kieran McCown variant. Next up, a Carol Reppin variant A and B, but this one also does have a variant C for it. And now finally, a 1 in 10 Royal Incentive variant. The next issue I'm going to be going over is My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, 2021 Annual. This is cover A, the main cover. Cover B variant. And now this one's not available yet, but it does have a 1 in 10 Incentive variant coming out for it. The next issue I'm going to be going over is Yushagi Ojimbo, Wanderer's Road, issue number six, and this is cover A, the main cover. Now, moving on from there, we've got My Little Pony slash Transformers, issue number two, so it's a little team up between both of those. It's going to be a weird issue to me, but this is a brand new crossover event going on from them. This is cover A, the main cover. Cover B, Bethany McGoy variant, a WonderCon at Home 2021 exclusive variant. Now, we also have a 1 in 10 incentive variant and a 1 in 25 incentive variant as well. But now, moving on to the final book coming out from IDW this week, we have the comic book history of animation, issue number five, and this is an anime issue, so if you're an anime fan, definitely check this one out. This is cover A, the main cover, and now this one's not available yet, but it does have a cover B variant. Those are the only issues coming out from IDW. I plan on getting CSRO's issue number five. We'll see how it goes. It's not on my pull list. I just keep getting them, not adding them, because I think it's very okay, and I just keep getting lucky with it. And now moving on to Dynamite, they've got two different issues coming out. The first one is Vampirella vs. Purgatory, issue number two, and this one has 20 different covers, so this is cover A. And as I always talk about with Dynamite, just check with your LCS to see which ones they're going to be getting. But the final issue Dynamite's coming out with is Deja Thoris, Winter's End, issue number one, so this is a new one coming out from them. And this one only has 12 different covers. Yeah, I said it. Only 12. I'm used to 20 plus with Dynamite issues. But this is cover A, the main cover, and those are the only two issues coming out from them. So next up, let's talk about DC Comics. All right, so before I get started on DC this week, a lot of people keep commenting, I need to read more DC, I need to review more DC books. I'm reading a few different series right now. It took me a little while to get started on the DC train, but I'm getting there. I'm reading Harley Quinn right now, Nightwing, the Joker series. I'm not reading Batman, but I am going to pick that up in a hardcover form. I want to read some of the earlier stuff first, and I'll just catch up to it eventually. But if you are a big DC fan, let me know which series I need to be hopping on. But as far as this week goes, the first issue I'm going to be going over is Detective Comics issue 1035, and it says that this issue introduces Mr. Worth, and it also has a mini story, so be on the lookout for that. But this is cover A, the main cover. Now we also do have a cardstock variant. Moving on from there, we've got Action Comics issue 1030, and this is a brand new arc, but it also has a backup mini any story as well and this is cover a the main cover and this one also has a cardstock variant moving on from there we've got batman superman issue number 17 this is cover a the main cover and same thing this one has a cardstock variant next up we've got a brand new series coming out it's called robin this is cover a the main cover we've got a jay hung lee variant a and b set a team cardstock variant a wraparound variant and now finally, a 1 in 25 Ricardo Federici incentive variant. Moving on from there, oh, this is another one I'm reading. I'm really looking forward to this one too. We've got Teen Titans Academy, issue number two. And this is cover A, the main cover. We also have a cover B cardstock variant. I really liked it. 
My problem was is I read it thinking it was going to be just like Strange Academy for Marvel, and I love that series. So I had to reread it, and after I went in there with a little bit more of an open mind, I really liked it. It's its own special thing, and I can't wait to see where they go with it. But moving on, we've got Batman Black and White, issue number five, and this is cover A, the main cover. We've also got a Gary Frank variant, and now finally, a Jenny Frizen variant. Next up on my list, we've got Harley Quinn, issue number two. This is cover A, the main cover. Now this one has a cardstock variant as well. But the final issue coming out from DC this week is RWBY Justice League issue number one. This is a brand new mini series coming out from them. This is cover A, the main cover. Now we also have a cardstock variant for this one too. So I'm definitely going to be getting Teen Titans Academy issue number two and Harley Quinn issue number two as well. But if there's any other ones in here that you feel I should be reading, just let me know. Comment down low and I'll see what I can do about grabbing it. But those are the only issues coming out from DC this week. So next up, let's finish it up with Marvel Comics. Alright, so as always, Marvel's got a ton of different issues coming out this week. So to kick it off, we've got Fantastic Four, issue number 31, and it says in the description that they're exploring to a never-before-seen area. So if you are reading this series, definitely don't miss out on this issue, it could be a bigger one. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up by that, we have a Pacheco Reborn variant. The next issue is New Mutants, issue number 17. This is cover A, the main cover. Now we also have a 1 in 50 Bob McCloyd incentive variant for this one. Moving on, we've got Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue number 25, and this is a big oversized issue pretty much to kick off the clone saga this one has 32 different variants including cover a so i'm just gonna be going over some of my favorite ones from this but a lot of these covers are very cool this is cover a the main cover this is the in hook lee variant a and b set now we also have a dick ron variant a and b set as well moving on after that we've got star wars darth vader issue number 11 and I ended up selling this whole series off. I got a really good deal on it. But if you are interested in Star Wars Darth Vader, I definitely would check out the trade paperbacks if I was you. It is a very good series. Once they make a hardcover, I'm probably going to end up rebuying all of them. But this is cover A, the main cover. Now we also have a Sprouse Empire Strikes Back variant. The next issue I'm going to be going over is Cable, issue number 10, and this one only has a cover A. Moving on from there, we've got Savage Avengers, issue number 20, and this is cover A, the main cover. We also have a Horley variant, and now moving on from there, we've got Beta Ray Bill, issue number 2. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be picking this one up. I read the first one. I thought the story was okay. I didn't really like the artwork that much, but once we got into what the actual story was going to be about, I was like, ah, I don't know if this one's going to be for me, so we'll have to see. But this is cover A, the main cover. Now, this one's not available yet, but we do have a one and 25 Pope incentive variant. The next issue I'm going to be going over is X-Men Legends, issue number three, and it says that the original X-Factor is returning in this issue. But this is cover A, the main cover. This one's not available yet, but we do have a Christopher action figure variant, and now finally a Coelho connecting variant. Moving on to the next series is Black Widow, issue number six, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Kelly Thompson is doing such a great job on this series. This is cover A, the main cover. We also have a Pacheco Reborn variant, a 1 in 10 Casa Grande design variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Raza in Incentive variant. The next series I'm going over is Silk, issue number two. Not so sure how I feel about this one either. I picked up the first issue. I thought it was actually pretty decent, but it's going to be a really big week for me this week, so we're going to see how it goes. This is cover A, the main cover. We have a Cal New variant A and B set, a Shannon Mare variant A and B set, a Tyler Kirkham variant A and B set, and now finally a 1 in 25 Besh incentive variant. Moving on from there, we've got The Marvels, issue number one, and it says this is an all-new, ongoing series. I'm definitely going to give this one a shot. I love these covers, and usually the stories are pretty good, too. We've got cover A. This is the main cover. Alan Qua variant A and B set. A Felipe Massafera variant. A Pacheco variant. A 1 in 25 Epting incentive variant. And now finally, a 1 in 50 Delato incentive variant. Moving on from there, we've got Spider-Man Curse of the Man-Thing, issue number one. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is just going to be a one-shot. This is cover A, the main cover, and now we finally have a Bradshaw variant. Moving on, we've got U.S. Agent, issue number five. And if you are reading this, this is the end of the series. This is cover A, the main cover. Now we also have a Renaud variant for this one as well. Moving on, we've got Modoc Head Games, issue number four, and same thing. This is the end of the series, and this one only has a cover A. Moving on to Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, 40th Anniversary. These are just covers done by Chris Sprouse throughout all, of, I guess, the covers he's been making for variants. But this is cover A, the main cover. Now we also have a movie poster variant for this. And now finally, the last issue coming out from Marvel this week is Hellfire Gala Guide, issue number one. And this is free, so just check it out. I know it just has to deal with, I think, Hellfire and some X-Men stuff, so I probably won't end up picking this one up. But those are all the issues coming out from Marvel this week. I'm definitely getting Miles Morales 25, Black Widow issue number six. I'm kind of on the fence with Silk issue number two, and I'm for sure getting the Marvels issue number one. So now, let's do a recap.
So what do you guys think of this week's new comic book day? There are a ton of issues coming out. This is hands down the longest video I've ever made for you guys. So if you stuck it out to the very end, thank you and I appreciate the support. But thank you for watching my video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down low and a little bell to get notified every time I drop new content. You won't regret it. And I've got two more videos sitting off to the side here with more of my comic book content. Click on one of those and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.